William and Catherine regarded as assets of the country as petition to scrap Wales title abolished. The Wales title is traditionally reserved for the heir next in line to the throne and has been held by 21 heirs since Edward II of Carnarvon. But in the wake of the Queen's death, there have been calls for the use of the royal title to end, with some arguing it symbolizes English oppression over Wales. In other words, Wales has been thrown into the center of a constitutional and political debate not discussed by so many for hundreds of years. In response to William and Kate's new title, Tristan Gruffid started an online petition. Two weeks on, the petition had attracted more than 36,000 signatures. He explained that since the 13th century, the title has only been held by Englishmen who have no genuine connection to Wales. Despite the petition, some readers shared their thoughts on the Wales title in hundreds of comments left below the accompanying article. Most royal fans agree, William and Kate can only be good for Wales. They will be an asset to the country. Prince William's office has previously briefed the press that he will take up the Prince of Wales title but slim it down. It is said that he plans to slash by half the 140 or so staff employed by the current Prince of Wales. King Charles III had held the Prince of Wales title, traditionally reserved for monarchs in waiting, since 1969, which was a typical display of British pomp and circumstance. More than 50 years later, Kate and William find themselves living in a very different age. Polling shows that a majority of British people still support the monarchy, and the centuries-old dynasty is a lucrative tourist attraction. It arguably even helps maintain political stability in the UK. This week, William and Kate paid their first trip to Wales as a married couple. After being given their new titles, Kate and William are reportedly very committed to visiting Wales and supporting the aspirations of the Welsh people. This commitment has already been shown as William is starting to learn Welsh and can reportedly already ask for a cup of tea. A reverend of St. Thomas Church even said, They've blown us away by speaking to every person, young and old. It shows how wholly committed they are to their role as prince and princess of Wales. William himself once said of Ainsley, I know that I speak for Catherine when I say that I have never in my life known somewhere as beautiful and as welcoming. Hence, it is right to say the Royals and the Prince of Wales title have a place in Wales. They've opened up economic and charitable avenues, they've paid into the local economy, and they have even lived in the country. When you have someone like that on your side, why would you want to abolish the title? On receiving the title, Prince William, in a phone call with the Welsh First Minister, Mark Drakeford, pledged to serve Wales and its people with humility and great respect, telling the Welsh Labour leader about his deep affection for the country. Furthermore, the First Minister did say he thought it wouldn't be right to hold a ceremony which married the 1969 Carnarvon investor of the then Prince Charles. But what did that mean? The Wales of 2022 is very different to the Wales of 1969. I don't think looking back at that event and thinking of it as some sort of pattern that you would wish to pick up and copy, I don't think that would be the right way to go about things. There is no constitutional rulebook governing the appointment of a Prince of Wales in the modern era. The title can be viewed as being a ceremonial gift of the king, with the minimum expectation being to support the sovereign as a focal point for national pride and unity. So in that sense, William has some discretion as the new Prince of Wales to adopt a different approach to his father. Let's not forget Prince William almost broke royal protocol in a controversial tour of the Caribbean in March. The source said, they want to be more approachable, less formal, less stuffy, and break away with a lot of tradition.